Hi everybody and welcome to our first April break. Um, today we've got a tablecloth down because we're going to need it. We're making some messy things today. We're going to make a crystal garden and we're going to make a milk painting. And we'll tell you all about the science in those as we go. Okay, our first science experiment is going to be milk painting. First, we're going to take our milk, which you'll have to supply from home. And we're going to pour some into a flat dish. And it can be any kind of dish, as long as the paper that you've received will fit into it so that you can make your milk painting. So pour in just kind of enough so that it covers the bottom of your pan. There we go. And the next step is going to be to take your food coloring, which again, you'll be supplying from home, and you just need to put a couple drops, and just here and there, I'll put maybe a couple there, and there. some blue sort of in the middle and some red and now in milk there is some fat and there's some water and that's why right now your colors aren't mixing with the milk because of the fat and the next thing you're gonna take, which you'll supply at home, is some dish soap. And I'll give you the Q-tip. And you just put a bit of, Q of dish soap on your Q-tip. And then when you put it in, it's going to start breaking down the fats of the milk. And watch what happens. Off go the colors. And you just put it around. colors to kind of mix and then when you have a design that you like in your milk you can take your paper and you're going to drop it down on top and let it sit for a minute and this is watercolor paper there we go and then we'll take it off and you'll have a great design and then if you want to, you can put a little bit more and change your design by putting some more of the dish soap. And then when you get it the way you like it, you can put paper on again. And let it sit just for a second or two. Bring it out again, and it'll be another quite interesting design. So that's because the soap is breaking down the milk fat, and then it will mix in. And that's what you're seeing happening is the milk mixing in when you drop your liquid detergent in. And you can have a lot of fun doing this, and you probably do want to have a tablecloth down because as you can see, getting all over the table. Okay, hope you had fun with this one and you can try the next one. And for our second experiment, you will need some Epsom salts, a cup of Epsom salts, a cup of hot water, some uh, chenille pipe cleaners, something to stir with, a pair of scissors for your pipe cleaners and some more um, food coloring. So the first thing we're going to do is take our cup of Epsom salts and pour it in our container. And then we're going to take our hot water. It can be hot from the tap or you can boil it depending on how hot it is. Um, you might want your mom or dad or some, someone else to help you with that part. And once you get them together, you're going to keep stirring it probably for a few minutes until the salt all dissolves into the water. And what happens here 
is after we've got the salt all dissolved into the water, we're going to make a flour. And we're gonna put it in, and then we're going to sit it overnight in the refrigerator. And by the morning, you will have a crystal garden. It does take a little while for it to dissolve. And you do have to keep stirring it to get it to, do, to dissolve. If it takes a really long time and it doesn't seem like it's going to dissolve, then you can put it in the microwave and just warm it up a little bit more and keep stirring it again. And there can be a few of the salt crystals still in the water. I'm going to leave that just for a minute because I may have to put it in the microwave and I'll show you how to make a flower out of the pipe cleaners. So we're gonna make it tiny so that it fits in here. I think I actually might pour it into here. Oh, we've still got lots of salt in there. I think I definitely will have to put it and warm up the water. So you'll have to take your pipe cleaner and make little tiny kind of petals. So there's one and then just put it around and try to make another one and wrap the pipe cleaner around. And it doesn't have to be perfect. There's nothing in nature is perfect. And I'm going to make five petals on mine and you can make as many as you'd like. So there we go. And then I'm going to put that pipe cleaner down and then I'm going to take my green pipe cleaner and make some leaves for our flower and a stem. So I'm going to make two leaves and the stem. Put those up, the stem there. I'm going to make a make it a lot shorter. Just cut off what's extra. Leave a little bit so I can wrap around to make them go together. And then we've got a little flower. And then we're going to want it to sit on the bottom of your water. So I'll just put the two paper clips that will come with your kit on the bottom just so it has like a little stand. Oops. And just twist that on again. A couple more twists. Okay, and before we put our flower in, we're going to add some color so we can see our crystals better. So probably three or four, maybe five. And again, we're going to stir that around. And then we're going to set our flower in gently and make sure it's standing. And then we're going to put it into the fridge and overnight the crystals will grow. And in the morning you can pour off the extra water that might be lasting in there, but it will be very beautiful. And with the magic of cameras and film, we will show you that in just a moment. Thanks for coming to our April break and our crystal garden and milk painting. Hope you enjoyed them and hope you enjoy your April break. Have a good day. Bye.